This is going to be a very basic introduction to Fusion 360. We're going to make this uh, trim potentiometer knob, which we're going to use as an input controller, kind of like, like this. Or like this. So this just sits on top of a uh, trim potentiometer. So how, how can we make this? Let's do, let's go from an end to end. I'm going to make this knob and then um, I'm going to show you how to slice it and in the Kira tool for Ultimaker. So let's create a new design and we're going to create a sketch and here's our sketch plane. So we'll click on this and we want to make a circle. And that's the first step. On one second, I've got some measurements that I want to capture here. So, so we want to make a circle. Um, in this case, we're going to make it around a diameter of uh, maybe 25 millimeters. So we can set center or hit C is what I usually do, but I just um, use the menu up here and click in the center point. And let's do 25. Uh, millimeters. So there we've got the beginning of what's going to be our uh, controller knob. And then we're going to hit E or we can do, uh, we can go to solid and click on this button, but I oftentimes hit E for extrude. And we're going to extrude that into 3D. You can see this. We can grab this arrow or we can actually use this menu here. And for our height, uh, maybe we'll set it to be about 8 millimeters high. Okay, so this is looking pretty good, actually. Um, let's do a few more things. Well, one thing we might want to, well, we have to make the hole. So we can go back to our sketch. And let's make that hole. Now, I did some measurements previously. And the diameter of this hole, now I hit C for circle. I'm going to click back in that center point, And our diameter is going to be about 8.6. Uh, a millimeter, so we'll select that, okay, and so that looks pretty good. We're going to say finish sketch. All right, now we want to extrude that, um, that new hole that we just made. So let's go over to this menu and make sure our sketch is visible. So now I'm over in this menu, this drop down menu, so you can hide things like there's the body and there's the sketch, and I want to show the sketch because I want to actually extrude. Um, this part here. So of course we could extrude it out by default now. It's cutting through the object, which is what we want. And again, based on my measurements, we want the height of this to be about 5.6 millimeters. So now we have, and I hit enter after that. So now we have our hole. One thing that we might want to do to sort of clean this up is a fillet. So we can go to modify and hit fillet or I always usually do F. We can click the edge here and drag in. So now it's actually starting to look more like a knob. And the final thing, as you may have noticed from before, is I put a little arrow in there for some directionality. And so this is uh, something where it's easiest to create another sketch. So here we go, create sketch, and we want to create it on top of uh, of the top of the knob. And uh, so now it basically we could do any design we want on the top of this knob. Okay, so uh, we need to have like a triangle um, basically for the arrow. So we can go to this polygon tool and we want to go to inscribed polygon and that's going to allow us to, let me just go here, that's going to allow us to select a location maybe about here and then we want a three-sided polygon and then select this point so that the arrow goes all the way out like that. Okay, so that's the beginning of our arrow. And now it's easiest if we create two rectangles and we do one, maybe like, oh, that's one, let's do 1.5 millimeters. And then we're gonna do another one just like that rectangle, two point rectangle, go back to that, I'll zoom in, go back to that same location, and what did we say? 
we say 1.5? So 1.5. So that's our arrow. I guess it's looking a little bit bulky, but should be fine. And then the last step we want to do is we want to extrude that. And we're going to now select. So I hit E for extrude, and now I'm shift clicking to select everything that I want to extrude. And notice. I can go up, but if I go down, it automatically does a subtraction. Uh, subtraction, and you could play around with those settings here. So up, or we're going to go down. I don't know. Maybe we'll go down 1.5, something like that. Oops, that's 1.05. There we go, 1.5. So there we go. Now the last step is for us to print this. Uh, this model out, for that we go to Tools, we go to Make, 3D Print, and we have some settings here. The first thing we have to do is select what we want to 3D print, and you would select all the bodies that you want to send to the printer uh, software, and there we go. And that's going to create this triangle mesh. Um, and then we can send a 3D print utility if you already have Cura in, uh, installed. Otherwise, you can save to disk, and we'll click OK. And this is going to send it over to Cura. Because I'm screen recording. So you can see it's slicing right now. There we go. So we can hit Preview. And we can actually see how this thing will be printed. This is the beginning. And this is layer by layer. And if you actually want to see how what the tool tool path is, you can click on down here and go all the way up like this. There's the top and there's the arrow. Let's see again, see the tool path. So that's the whole thing. Now you have some settings, and I have this is pretty coarse. This would be much more fine, 0 0.1 layer height. But for this demo, I think it's totally fine to do 0.2 layer height. As you get more fine, it's going to take longer um, to print out. So this is an 18-minute print. It seems pretty good. And then you would save to file and save to a USB key and print it out. Oh, and just a few quick more things about this. One is I like to rename the file so we could just say demo uh, trim pot. Uh, or maybe just trim pot knob arrow. So I'm typing that in down here. And of course, we want to select the material that we have loaded in our particular printer. In this case, I actually have Ultimaker White Tough PLA um, and not just the regular PLA in my printer. And um, so you have to click Prepare if you want to look at that. Preview is how I was, I was looking at this, this tool path. Um, and uh, I actually don't have my 3D printer hooked up to this computer, so I just dump it onto a USB key, and that's actually how I print it. Um, just to give you a sense of the print time, if I wanted to go to 0.1 layer height, my guess is it would probably go to like 24 minutes or 22 minutes. It was at 18 minutes before. Oh, 33 minutes, so it nearly doubled. So totally not worth it in this case for, the, for this demo. Let's see what it is at 0.15. Twenty-two minutes. Yeah, maybe that's fine. So, I'll just click uh, uh, save to removable device, and we'll start printing it. 